What does dopamine feel like? I went out and got medical grade dopamine and I'm gonna inject it into, I'm just kidding, this is insulin for my cat. My name is Eric and I make content about ADHD. And when you talk about ADHD, you have to talk about dopamine because for all that we don't know about the subject, we're pretty sure that low levels of dopamine are in part responsible for symptoms of ADHD. I lost my cat's insulin. But just how dopamine affects us is generally misunderstood. Contrary to popular belief, dopamine doesn't make us feel good. It isn't a pleasure chemical like oxytocin, serotonin, or endorphins. Dopamine is what influences us to seek out those pleasure chemicals, which is why sometimes you hear it referred to as a motivation neurotransmitter, which makes sense in the context of ADHD. So what exactly does dopamine feel like if it isn't what makes us feel good? Well, think about the last time you had a craving for food, for coffee, for alcohol, for a cigarette. <laughs> that sensation of wanting whatever it is you're craving that drives you to go and get the thing that's gonna make you feel good that's dopamine. And in many cases, it's not even producing a comfortable feeling, let alone a pleasurable one, especially if your dopamine is pulling you towards something you're trying to avoid. So if that's the case, then why are people with ADHD more prone to addiction or stated a different way, resisting the call of dopamine? Yeah. If people with ADHD have lower levels of dopamine, wouldn't we expect to see the opposite? Well, since the baseline of dopamine in our brains is lower and tasks that aren't particularly exciting or interesting don't release a lot of dopamine, the motivation is minimal, especially when compared to experiences that produce a lot of dopamine. In other words, the lows are lower and the highs are much more intense. In a quote, neurotypical brain, since the baseline is higher, it's easier to be motivated by things that aren't necessarily interesting and resist the urge to carry out experiences that your dopamine surges are pulling you towards. So in the treatment of ADHD, one of the objectives is to raise baseline levels of dopamine. And there are many ways to do that. Medication does that as does exercise and meditation and good sleep and a healthy diet. It's also worth noting that specific types of neurotransmitters and the effect that they produce don't operate in isolation. In other words, dopamine isn't the only chemical in your brain that's going to cause you to reach for a cupcake. Furthermore, dopamine isn't the only neurotransmitter affected by ADHD, nor is the prefrontal cortex the only area of the brain affected by ADHD, which again is a common misconception. So why does any of this matter? Why is it important to know the function of dopamine and the differences in the neurochemical landscape between our brains and their brains. Well, for one thing, the more we understand our brains, the more control we have over them. ADHD often leaves us feeling like we're not in the driver's seat, and like we can't help but making the wrong decisions for our overall well-being, despite knowing better. It can be extremely frustrating and demoralizing, not only for ourselves, but our families and the ones that we care about and the ones that care about us. When ADHD treatment is just a vague concept that we're supposed to accept works without understanding any of the mechanisms behind it, it's easy to get bummed out when all of our problems aren't fixed right away. But as you start to to learn about the specific operators in effect, you're no longer just relying on blind trust that your treatment and your efforts are going to make a difference, but rather that specific actions are going to create chemical change in your brain that will ultimately help you. For example, going for a 15 minute walk will increase your baseline dopamine levels, which will make it easier to get motivated to do the things that are important to you and not just the things that you want to do. So what does dopamine feel like? It feels like wanting another cup of coffee. We can increase our dopamine levels to give ourselves more control over the things that we get motivated to do. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment, and I'll see you soon.